Kia ora everyone, I'm Donna Louise from New Zealand and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. Now if you've been around for a while, you will know that I have professed my love for Pintu jigsaw puzzles from the beginning and I've been wanting to do some of their 3D jigsaw puzzles and finally now's the day that I get to share with you my experience with them. This is not going to be like a tutorial video on how to assemble the jigsaw puzzles although you'll learn from a few of my mistakes. They do have videos on their YouTube channel on how to assemble them. For example, with the clock, there's even a little QR code to show you a video on how to assemble it, which was very, very helpful. So first of all, I started out with the vase. Now I want to thank Pintu. They actually sent me this vase to do, and I really, really appreciate it. And then Wendy, of course, just amazing. Went to an op shop and she found another Pintu vase. Now you're probably wondering why this one is in pieces. I'll explain in a second. So first of all, the instructions to assemble a vase are actually very clear and on the back here. And I did read them, but not properly and not well enough. So the vase comes in like four sections. And you're supposed to assemble the first section and then at the bottom of the vase there's a ring that keeps it all nice and snug together. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what to call it, maybe a fitting ring, but anyway it's the ring at the bottom of the vase. So you're supposed to assemble the first kind of slice of the vase, the first section, then you're supposed to put in that bottom ring and then build the rest of the jigsaw puzzle, you know, in sections around it. I of course did not put that bottom ring at the bottom to begin with. And so it was a bit tricky to try to keep it all together and build it. That was my mistake because clearly when you look on the back of the box, step one is, you know, build one section and insert the bottom ring. I don't know how I missed that. That's completely on me, but I still really, really enjoyed it. The only problem was when I got that I had the full vase assembled and I had the ring and I was like, oh, how am I supposed to get the ring on the bottom of the vase? I actually had to take some pieces out. And to tell you the truth, I was able to put the ring in at the end. So that made me wonder with this one from the op shop, I actually have been taking it apart and just doing it like circular, like one piece at a time. So I'm taking a piece out of here and I'm reassembling it over here just to see if you could actually build it up in circles and you can, and I was obviously able to put that bottom ring in at the end, so that is possible as well. Now, one little trick I've noticed with Pintu jigsaw puzzles, even their 2D ones, sometimes they are plastic pieces, so it's a perfect snug fit and a wonderful snap. If you have difficulty like putting the piece from the top in, try to put it in from the bottom. And that's the same as with the 2D puzzles. If you're having trouble pushing it down from the top, try pushing it up from the bottom. Hopefully I'm explaining that correctly. Um, it makes sense in my head, you know. But yeah, so I've just been sitting here. Is that even the correct piece? And um, I've just been reassembling this 3D vase. See, I have the piece upside down. See, it would help if I had the piece the right way up. Just for fun, because why not? And yeah, I've just been going around and fitting in the pieces as a circle. And I will eventually finish this vase again. I just wanted to show you kind of like a half section as well as this little part. So the vase can actually hold real flowers. You can put water in this, don't fill it up too full. And then when your vase is done, you gently put the vase over top and you just simply twist it from the bottom here, twist and it locks into place. See, it's not falling out. And then you can twist and release it. How smart is that? So the vase can actually be used with water and real flowers as a proper vase and it's gorgeous. I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. And it comes with this little stand as well, so you can elevate it. So this one has the, the bottom water thing already in it. I haven't used it with real flowers. I've seen a lot of people put um, the Lego flowers in them, and that looks gorgeous. So thank you, Pintu, for gifting me this vase. Thank you, Wendy, for finding this one. I'll finish doing this one in circles. I don't know if there's a better way to assemble it, whether in slices of four sections or doing it up in circles, because, well, I didn't follow the instructions properly. So it was a bit tricky for me to hold, but if I would have put that bottom ring on it, it would have held everything in place nicely. 
So, you know, follow the instructions, I guess. But I did really enjoy it. I loved it so much. This older one has the numbers printed on the inside with arrows for directions. I wonder if this was all in one bag, whereas this came in four bags with the four sections and you do one after the other, because inside of this vase, it's no longer numbered. I didn't feel like I needed numbers, though I felt there was enough detail on the image for me to be able to assemble it. So yeah, I had lots of fun. I absolutely loved the vase. I would say, you know, if, if I were to rate these on a scale of easy, medium, and hard, because it's different, it's a 3D jigsaw puzzle. This one is a easy-ish, easy up kind of thing, you know, not medium, not easy, but in between the two. Lots of fun. I really enjoyed it. Of course, I love the pieces. I love the snap. And yeah, I'll finish assembling this one together soon. And I think I'll put one down at the jigsaw puzzle display and I'll keep one here at the house. Next, I moved on and did the jar. This one my hubby got for me. There's actually two sizes of jars. This is the larger one and there is a smaller one. By the way, the vase, this particular vase was called Colorful Leaves. And in total, it had 160 pieces. The jar, the larger jar has 128 pieces and it's called Dreams Come True. And I mean, it's absolutely adorable. So because I was a little, monkey wonky donkey and i didn't follow the instructions correctly on the vase i made sure that i was going to do the jar properly so inside the box with the jar came two very detailed list of instructions one the instructions and one the photo the image of the jar basically it was divided into four sections now i thought the puzzle made up the jar. I knew it came with a nice lid and figured there would be some sort of bottom. There's actually a glass jar that comes with this jigsaw puzzle. This inside, and I'll maybe try to put up photos so you can see, there's an actual glass jar. So you build the first section, you put in the base, and then you slide in an actual glass jar. This is is lovely. This is like a real wooden topper to close the jar off and it seals perfectly. I was shocked <laughs> to find the, a piece of glass in there. And so for me, loved it, loved the finished product, but I did get a bit nervous. So you build that first section, you put in the bottom, you add in the jar, and then you build the other sections around that glass jar. And for example, sometimes you have to push a bit harder with pin tube pieces because the fit is perfect. And I was a bit nervous pushing on them because I didn't want the jar to break. Well, to be honest, I, that's just me and my little fear because there, I did have one piece that I really had to push kind of, you know, quite a bit to get it in place and it was fine. Nothing broke. I just, me and Glass are not the best of friends. <laughs> so I was, I was a little cautious with it, but I love it. It's gorgeous. And the instructions were very clear and easy to follow. I made sure to properly follow them. The jar is beautiful and it's quite hefty. It's like a nice solid weight. I've seen people use it to hold pens and pencils, scissors, like on their desk. I think it's a adorable and it is so sturdy and so well made i was so impressed so i would rate this more as a medium like a bit more difficult maybe it was just me because of the glass and it worried me about pushing on it but the result is absolutely gorgeous gorgeous i love it so after i was kind of little wonky donkey not following the instructions correctly on that one i made sure to completely follow the instructions on this one and it's, it's just gorgeous. It does say glass jar multiple places on the box, but still me, you know, I was completely surprised when I saw it inside, but the instructions, very clear, very helpful, and just lovely, absolutely loved it. So after doing the jar and following the instructions to a T, I thought, okay, I can do the clock. And the clock, I did make sure to go to the QR code and I watched the video. And I was like, yep, yeah, I got it, no problem. Well. <laughs> watch the video, follow the video along to build the clock because I did muck up some things, completely user error. This clock is called, what's it called? Manuscript Coffee, it has 145 pieces. Now I finished this clock over a week ago 
and it's running and it's keeping time and it's accurate. It's a functioning clock. Like seriously, <laughs> I love it so much. Now, the trickiest part of this one was the face plate. Those I'm gonna say are almost like micro size pieces. They're very, very small. And I followed the instructions. The mechanism is easy enough to assemble. Be careful with the little hands. They are plastic. They're a little dainty. So just be gentle with them. Uh, got the battery. You need a double A battery. It doesn't come with one. No big deal. And then assembling the jigsaw puzzle was so much fun. Love the image. What did I muck up? I think I messed up putting at the back again, like the bottom ring. I think I messed up putting in this last ring here. I did something out of order, but that was completely on me again. It comes with this cute little stand so you can kind of angle the clock however you want to make sure you can see the time. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I was trying to decide if it was more difficult than the jar to assemble. I don't think so, it's just different. So still kind of like a medium difficulty would make an amazing gift for anyone, jigsaw puzzle lover, that's for sure. This is going to go on my desk. I'm gonna keep it here. I think I'll put a vase down at the jigsaw puzzle display. This I want to keep. I love the jar, so I want to keep and maybe it's just because I have two vases that I'm willing to put one down there. But I had so much fun assembling them. Oh, this is the first time I've done like a true 3D jigsaw puzzle where they were like jigsaw puzzle pieces and assembled. I don't know which one is my favorite. Once they're complete, they're absolutely gorgeous, well worth it. And so, you know me. <laughs> Oh, I just love Pintu so, so much. And I love that I can keep their jigsaw puzzles forever. I was trying to count earlier. I think I have a dozen of their 2D jigsaw puzzles framed around the house. And I think, what is it? Is it 16 of their magnet puzzles up on my fridge? They're just so much fun. So trust me, if you can get your hands on the vase, a clock, a jar, I think you would really, really enjoy it. And if you're looking for a gift for that puzzle lover in your life, they would absolutely enjoy them as well. Have you heard the news? Pintu released a new brand of jigsaw puzzles under Peace Relax. So basically, I asked them, I said, what's the difference? Pintu is still gonna be fun and exciting with lots of cool features, but Peace Relax focuses on the relaxing nature of puzzling. And they sent me one to try out. And of course I loved it, can't deny. So first of all, this one is called Wander in the Woods by Bia Mueller or Poodle Walk. And it's just adorable. You'll notice the box, like the packaging, completely different from previous 2D pin to jigsaw puzzles. I kinda don't mind this for a few reasons. First of all, when I get a pin to jigsaw puzzle or now a piece relax, I know I'm gonna keep them together cause that's just me. I love displaying them. And the box comes with a sleeve. So they have perhaps standardized the box, a generic box size, and then they can just switch out the sleeve to denote which puzzle is inside. So I think that's kind of smart. The box itself is pretty small. And I was worried about the size of the image on the front, but guess what? Opening this up, it has all the things that we love. First of all, they really want to, you to enjoy the unboxing experience. So right there it says, you'll always get there. And there's a little note. Now, sometimes I've mentioned in the past that maybe the note is not very useful. Yes, thank us for buying your jigsaw puzzle. Yes, you want us to share photos, but specifically for Peace Relax and Pintu, on the back, it explains how to assemble their jigsaw puzzles. And I do think this is smart, especially if it's your first time encountering one of their puzzles because they don't have a standard edge, you know, and people can be thrown off by that. And it comes separated into sections. And so I actually think this is very smart to include this information because people could be thrown off when they open up the puzzle pieces and they're looking for a standard straight edge and they're not there. So that is very handy to have. And look, it comes with a decent size poster. 
of the puzzle. I love it. This is 600 pieces. I think this is a perfectly fine size jigs uh, poster for a 600 piece puzzle. Love that. So that's very nice and colorful that they included that, especially since the sleeve doesn't show the entire image and it is kind of small. But then they give you a free gift. So I've asked them, I said, was this just something you included in mine? And they're like, no, all 2D piece relaxed jigsaw puzzles will come with a little free gift. So you open this up and I haven't assembled it yet. How smart is this? First of all, the instructions are on the inside and it's one of their little magnet puzzles. So I'm going to have to put that together because I have no idea what it looks like. <gasps> I think, because I know they're puzzles. I think I can tell what it is. I think it's a kiwi fruit. Oh, how, oh, I want to cry. How fitting would that be that they sent me a kiwi fruit to New Zealand? I'm going to put that together. But so genius to have like the little instructions inside the card and it looks like a little present. Uh, anyway, love, love, like everything, just loving. Now, of course, because it's not like the standard edges, it does come with the pack of the white edges that you apply at the end, that you put in at the end, which explains all on the back of that card. And then this one was divided in two bags of 300 pieces. So I still have one bag to do. And as you can see, I already assembled one section, one 300 pieces. Now the thing is, this is about relaxation. And you know what I like is that you can open all the bags and mix all the pieces together. But like one evening, I was just sitting in front of the TV. I had my little lap table and I thought, I just want to do a small puzzle. And I don't often have small puzzles or I've done them over and over again or I've used them for puzzle chess. Well, I was able to just crack open 300 pieces, sit there one evening in front of the TV and just casually puzzle. And what's really nice about these, I don't have to worry about the, moving the puzzle around if I'm only doing a section because it's plastic and they stay together perfectly. So that makes, you know, doing part of the puzzle and wanting to revisit and work on it again later, easy to move it around and store it. You're not worried that it's gonna fall apart because we've all been there, we've all done that. We're working on a puzzle and we move it and disaster strikes and it's on the floor. But this, this not an issue. The pieces are a good size, a good thickness and, you know, Pin two jigsaw puzzles are a bit tricky if you want to disassemble them because of the plastic pieces. You have to take care. You could break a prong or so. But I started playing around with this. And to tell you the truth, I was like, it's not that bad to disassemble. Like, look, I'm taking it apart now. And just with a bit of care, you could actually disassemble. And if you want it to resell or pass along or share the puzzle with others, you could. You just need to take care and time to do so. Do I share my pin to or piece relaxed jigsaw puzzles? No, I'm greedy. I'm greedy. I want them all. And so I love this one. I love the colors. I am going to go relax and assemble the rest of this. And I just want to thank them so much for gifting this to me. I can't wait to see what designs Peace Relax has available. Now, currently, you can buy them on Amazon.com in the US, in Canada, Mexico, and Japan. So for my Amazon.com storefront, I made a Peace Relax list with all their jigsaw puzzles. Just full disclosure, if you buy any there, I get a commission, but the price is the same for you. They are hoping by the second half later on in the year that they'll be able to distribute to more locations like the UK and Europe, Australia. It's just going to take a bit more time, so hold tight. Um, also, showcase puzzles here in New Zealand. I know that my husband bought um, the jar and the clock from there, and I know you can get their vases, so I'll leave links to their dis uh, website down below. I hope that they'll eventually stock Peace Relax jigsaw puzzles as well. So yeah, Peace Relax, it's a Pintu brand of jigsaw puzzle, and it's all about more of the relaxing nature of puzzling, and I love it. I, I love it, I love it. This is my happy place. I absolutely love these puzzles because, as you know, I glue and frame a lot of puzzles and have them all over the house. I know, I still have my blank wall. I'm like, Pintu, can you not make me a 5,000 piece jigsaw puzzle to go up on the wall? Because the gluing and the taping and everything can be quite a bit, but this is a great solution for me. I love 
finding the images that are just beautiful and using them as pieces of art around the house. And yeah, I'm just so excited to share this with you. Peace, relax, check them out. And I am thinking that once they are more readily available worldwide, I'm gonna do a puzzle along series where we can maybe try a smaller one, a 500 or 600 piece count, and also do a bigger one. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, ciao. Ooh, 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 gonna go relax. Ooh, 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 puzzle and relax. La, 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 do, 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 do. I can't sing, but it's okay. Nobody's lit. It's an in la 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 la. I love me, pick two puzzles. Now I got peace, relax too. Do do do. I wonder if they like my little jingle song I sing for you. Do 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 do. Bum bum ba dum bum. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs>